shifting gears now to look at your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Pete joining us now with the details of what fell, and we have varying amounts depending on where you live, and also a look at the cleanup today. Pete? Absolutely, Danielle. Varying is kind of an understatement. Huge variance in those snowfall amounts, no doubt about that. Let's recap that briefly. So that 8 to 12 inch swath that we were expecting for Northwest Rhode Island, so that part of the forecast worked out, but the problem is I thought those, those steadier bands of snow would also make it into Providence, Cranston, Wark. That simply never happened. I had around two and a half inches at my house. But you can see some of the snow jackpots in interesting locations down through Richmond and Charlestown, Rhode Island, and less than that as we go out towards southeastern Massachusetts. Now, we did get some winds from this. In fact, we had some winds gusting between around 40, 50 miles an hour. Block Island made it up to 53 from the storm yesterday. Connecticut, 49. Westerly, 48. Providence, around 43. Quonset, North Kingstown, 46. And winds will continue this morning, not quite as strong, but you can see that storm is still swirling here just south of Long Island. I'll show you kind of an impressive view of that in just a second. We are stuck with some precipitation, rain, snow showers for a good part of the area this morning, so just be mindful. You have that slush, some snow out there, you have rain and snow falling on top of that, certainly some messy roads and slick conditions possible. This is a look at Narragansett. You can see it's still breezy, flags blowing in the wind here with uh, some moisture out there. And in Newport, visibility is okay. When visibility is terrible, we cannot even see the Newport Bridge. At least we can see that this morning. Temperature in Providence is 37. We have a stiff wind out of the northeast at 20 miles an hour. So the wind chill is at 27 degrees. So people that, people that are cleaning up this morning, hat and gloves, not a bad idea considering the wind chill, even though actual temperatures, not that bad. Okay, check this out. Center of low pressure, it's still here. Basically parked offshore from New Jersey. In fact, sections of Pennsylvania and New Jersey still getting snow. We still have some snow in sections here of eastern Massachusetts. But this is one of the reasons why we have those wind gusts lingering today. They will start to subside gradually throughout the afternoon and evening. Now, our rain snow mix continues through this morning. This is around 11 a.m. Scattered rain and snow showers continuing through the afternoon and evening. Not raining hard or snowing hard the whole day, but more just kind of spitting a wintry mix for a decent part of the time. And then this evening, we'll have to be mindful of the potential for some slick roads. Now, we already discussed that winter weather advisory for northwest Rhode Island, but even in areas not covered under that advisory, temperatures start to slip closer to freezing by late afternoon through this evening. As that occurs, any moisture slush on the roads could easily start to freeze up later on tonight. So our wind gust forecast plays out like this. 11 o'clock this morning, still a gust potentially around 30 miles an hour from the northeast, keeping that cool wind chill locked in place. And then 6, 7 p.m., those gusts are still present. It's not completely calm, but now we're down to gusts of, say, 20 miles an hour instead of 30 to 35. Tonight's temperatures will be watched carefully as they'll likely go below freezing either by early evening, certainly by the later night hours, 29 by 4 a.m. tomorrow and 7 a.m. around 28 degrees. So even for the morning commute tomorrow, there may be some leftover icy spots from that moisture still on the roads. Now, in the seven-day forecast, it is an active, active weather pattern. The good news is if you don't like big storms, well, tomorrow is not a big storm. We have some off and on snow showers, potentially a coating, maybe a half an inch in spots, temperatures in the mid-30s. We then get into sunshine on Thursday, mostly sunny skies. Friday, this storm looks like a fast mover with uh, some rain or snow showers possible. And then Saturday, we're sunny. This one is the one I'm more focused on rather than that Friday system. That would be Sunday, perhaps into Monday, with the potential of a coastal storm that could bring rain or snow or both. We're going to keep you posted on that too early to talk accumulation amounts, but certainly accumulations would be possible from that. We'll keep you posted. In the meantime, you can always go to WPRI.com for the latest weather.